talking about how like shift will select multiple things if you mm -hmm. like shift click so same thing with tracks just you know if you select a track hold shift and it'll select all the tracks okay so you you just highlighted a track yep i just clicked on a track and, and then, then you push shift hold shift and then and click then the other click. tracks and what does that do selects all the tracks so oh to record on all the tracks at once you can record or to move all the tracks oh that's huge for when i got a course i want to duplicate mm -hmm. um, or yeah yeah that's nice. really important and also um you know you can move it forward a little bit and then you can press record and then go back and take a breath and get mm -hmm. ready and stretch and stuff and then you'll hear the beat come in you know yeah like you can make it two minutes after you press record you know what i mean yeah um, so, cool. yeah, that's huge. Um, <clears throat> another thing that's really cool, like a uh, little cool vocal effect to do is once you have one track, like say this track right here, mm -hmm. um, you can just do that and then all of a sudden you have two vocal tracks. And two what I did tracks. is I just had that track selected right there, mm -hmm. held option, which is that button, just mm -hmm. clicked option and dragged it to the track below it. Oh, sweet. And that way... First of all, it makes the vocals louder. It'll like double double the decibels of the vocals basically. Yeah. And another cool thing you can do is like you can EQ and compress it a little bit differently and it'll sound like a double. Okay. Instead of like having to dub vocals every time it's a little trick. Yeah, yeah, very nice. Just just this line. Mm -hmm. um, all is this the only part that you're actually use, using the compression on in all those things or is it the whole vocal or the... it's it's everything that goes on this track okay cool yeah um but what, what i want you to try to do right now is try to um like double that vocal okay um just for that part just like here just that part okay So right now you're exploring what type of uh, yeah um, software on there. Basically different Mixing. inserts and stuff. Yeah. This is a really good equalizer that Pro Tools has. I like a lot. What's that called? It's called a uh, seven band EQ. We'll go to dynamics and compress your limiter. Yeah, this is a compressor. I don't like this one. Oh, bomb factory. Yes. I like that. One. That was hot. Yeah. Walk into the room with an attitude. No sense of gratitude. I like my shoulder. Need a pair of something. 